All right, let's take a look at what makes parametric modeling so powerful using the very humble part that is the washer. And so we're going to start from a new part here. And one thing to keep in mind is that uh, for this demo, I'm going to be using the configure tool and that's only available if you're in a team environment. Um, so single user will not allow you to do this. And so we're in here, we created a new part and we're going to create a sketch. And then we're just going to create two circles and we'll give them some dimensions. So an inner dimension of 10 and maybe this one will make 20 and then we'll hit E for extrude and we'll choose that outer profile and maybe this will be a two millimeter tall washer. And so there in 30 seconds, we've created the basic shape of a washer and you could go ahead and export this and print it. And there you go, you have one washer created. But what makes parametric modeling so useful is that you can create parameters and you can use those to drive the dimensions. And so here we're going to do an inner diameter ID and we'll call it 10 just to begin with here. And I will give it a full name of inner diameter. And then we'll create a new one here again, OD. Set the same as what we had before and we'll do outer diameter. Okay. And then we want a thickness. We'll call that two. And we don't need to comment that because we already know from the name what that is. And so we've created our three parameters and now we have to associate them to those dimensions. So we'll jump back in here to the sketch. And instead of naming that 10, we're going to make that the ID and this guy, the OD and finish that sketch and then modify this extrude thickness. And there you go. So we've recreated the exact same thing, but what is fancy about this now and what is super useful is we can go in here and we can change these however we'd like. It's now just by changing these three dimensions, you could create any washer that you want in the world. So that's useful. You could just keep changing these individually here and you could export them and you could print them as you need, but there's even more utility uh, baked into parametric modeling and that's with the configuration tool. So now we can configure these, we can add these properties, we'll add the three that we want. And so now when we add these configurations, we can create all sorts of different washers and we can toggle between them. As we'd like. And so if I activate that configuration, you can see the change in size across those ones. And so where this comes really useful is you find a table. So this one is on thomaspotter.com. And you can see you have the dimensions. You have a D1, which is our inner diameter, D2, our outer diameter, and then a form A and a form B, which are just different thicknesses, so different styles of washers. And you can come to this table and you can do an M3 and you would make the ID 3.2, the outer diameter 7, and then you would choose a form A or a form B to follow and you could go 0 0.5. So let's put those in 3.2. seven and 0 0.5. There we go. So that's an M3 washer. And then we would just keep going 4.39 and 0 0.8, and 0 0.3, nine, and 0.8. And there you go, there's your M4, and we could rename this 
M4 and maybe put A for form A. And M3 A for that guy. And there you go. And that's, you would just keep going down the list and you would input the right dimensions for each washer. And that's how you've just created every single washer that exists across the world, or at least every flat washer. So we're not looking at lock washers and that kind of stuff. But I hope you found that useful and I'll see you in the next one.